Hey, Alan, how's it going? It's great. How are you? Pretty good. Can I ask you 67 questions? Sure, go for it. What's one application of quantum computing that you're most excited about? Circuit fault diagnosis. Do you miss MIT? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I, I need to be politically correct here. Favorite part of the software stack? Oh, um, I love, so first of all, I love the tools, right? Making it easy for developers to be able to write code in the quantum system. I love that. What's one thing you really like about Vancouver? Oh, the view from my apartment is amazing. <laughs> Overlooking Coal Harbor in the mountains. Where did the name D-Wave come from? I have no clue. What do you do to relax? <sighs> I fly, I'm a pilot. Will quantum computing replace classical computing? Uh, it will probably always work synergistically with classic compu classical computing through hybrid algorithms and applications. Last thing you made with your hands. <laughs> uh, some gesture, I'm sure. Next problem. Probably while I was driving. Next problem you want to solve. Oh, um, you know, I, I, I am really impressed. Oh, next problem I want to solve. Oh, delivering our next generation processor. What advice would you give yourself 10 years ago? Uh, do exactly what you ended up doing over the uh, 10 years that followed. What website do you waste time on? I don't waste a lot of time on websites. I, uh, right now, I'm spending all my time looking at the monitoring system for the new Leap service, and I love being there. Last person you emailed. It was uh, somebody who reports to me about um, doing some planning work. You get an all-expenses-paid trip to one city. Where do you go? Bora Bora. Would you visit Mars? Uh, no. What Take too long to get there. I love my family. What is one thing you can't live without? Diet Dr. Pepper. What's one thing people often misunderstand about quantum computers? By the way, this is our lab. Uh, the D-Wave systems, not that I'm trying to avoid your question. Um, what people often misunderstand about quantum computers, um, that uh, I believe quantum computers are gonna solve real commercial problems, or at least pieces of real commercial problems, sooner than most people think. But they're not gonna do it by solving problems that are intractable classically by being able to solve existing problems that can be solved during it, through existing classical computers, but just more efficiently. What text editor do you use? Word. <laughs> Is there an open source library that you really like? Uh, yeah, the uh, Ocean Tool Suite from D-Wave. What's one of your favorite movies? <sighs> uh, I, I always liked Air Force One. But now I'm giving away my age. What is something you do to come up with project ideas? Just think about the marketplace and what customers are telling us they want or need. Can we take some steps inside? Yeah, please. What is one of your hobbies outside of quantum computing? Flying. What is the first? And by the way, that's flying an airplane, not any other form of flight. What is the first program you ever made? Um, it was a uh, synthetic aperture radar program when I was back in college. Favorite professor? Oh, that was a while ago. My thesis advisor, Ron Rivest at MIT. Describe an ideal culture in one word. An ideal culture team, team-oriented culture. Best advice you've ever received? Okay. Um... Go for it. Do you think you need a PhD to do quantum development? No. Will the singularity... I don't think you need a master's degree. If you're a good Python program, programmer, you can program the D-Wave system. What's your spirit animal? I don't know. Favorite Linux distro? Uh, whichever one we're using with D-Wave. What's something you've learned in the past month? Um, so we just had our uh, customer conference, 
and there were 20 new applications that our customers have developed. Every one of those applications was interesting and something new that I learned. What were you like as a kid in grade school? A nerd. Sorry? Ah, okay. I was a nerd. N-E-R-D, nerd. And I was proud of it. What resource do you use the most to learn about the latest breakthroughs? Uh, I mean the web. What's something that excites you about the future? Quantum computing. If you were to start from scratch today, what is a learning resource you would use to learn quantum computing? Oh, I would go to Leap. The new cloud service from D-Wave, the new quantum application environment, which has all the training materials you need to learn about quantum computing. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? Wow. Uh, I don't really feel like I've done anything brave. What is the meaning of life? Uh, you know what? Uh, family. Uh, you know, just my wife, my kids, family. What is the last thing that frustrated you? Um, when we pushed an update to the Leap service prior to launch and there were some changes in it that I wasn't made aware of ahead of time, that frustrated me. Name one person you really admire. Um, my wife. What's the most beautiful thing in the world? My wife. What are the people you've met at quantum conferences like? It depends on the conference. Um, you know, sometimes there are investors, uh, sometimes there are physicists and mathematicians, uh, sometimes there are hardcore engineers, sometimes it's developers. It depends on the conference. What's a music genre you're currently into? Look, I mean, for me, it's the 60s and the 70s. <laughs> Again, my age. Does that, do we have to keep coming back to that? No, no, no. In fact, that was the last question. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Alan. Really My pleasure. It was great. It's a fun, uh, fun thing. Thank you. Yeah.